So a little bit about this place, it's been going for 20 years. It uh, started off life as a homeless charity, which it still is, but it also serves a lot of people in and around Greater Manchester that, are, that struggle with other issues, life issues. What we like to think we do is we like to think we help people to progress in life. This place is called the Lally Welcome Centre. It started eight years ago as a drop-in centre, advice, information, and uh, debt counsel and social work support. But it soon emerged that some people were really struggling in Collyhurst. I suppose it's a community building for people who want to start projects that haven't got the money or the funding and they can start off from here. We took it over and decided to try and get it up and running, as, not just as an art studio, but as a, a community cafe, a little community room to start off with. Now we've got a cinema, and that was built over a period of 12 weeks with 60 volunteers. The most wonderful people you could ever meet, we call them volunteers and they actually run this place with us. We wouldn't be able to work without volunteers. I'm not entirely sure how many we've got. I would suggest about 120 volunteers. The place can't really work without volunteers, without the help of volunteers. It's invaluable what the volunteers do in places like this. In other words, there wouldn't be a place like this without the volunteers. It wouldn't function. They're helping out. They're putting something back for the community. They're giving something back. You do get a lot out of it. But there's no two ways about it. I, have, I see people coming in here volunteering and even just visitors who are blown away by this place. You know, they come here and they think that they have nothing to give. They'll just make the tea. And then they begin to realise they have far, far more gifts. We have the most wonderful visitors that come through that door. And I have learned from my office, I can see everything. I have learned so much from the way they care about one another. They're all in the same boat. I've often seen somebody take food out of their bag and give it to somebody else. I find that very moving, that the people who haven't will give. I was sent here to Mustard Tree to volunteer as part of a Get Well programme from the hostel I'd found myself in after <clears throat> After living on the streets for a bit and a, and a history of um, in and out of jail and, and stuff like that and, and lots of drug use and alcohol abuse and, and this, that and the other. So eventually I ended up on the streets and then not long after that, three or four months, I ended up in a hostel and it was the, uh, my key worker at the hostel who sent me here as part of a get well plan. If I didn't come here, I got a written warning and if I got three written warnings, I was back down the street. So I came here kicking and screaming really because um, it was about, you know, my, my attitude was volunteering, working for no money, what's all that about? And uh, mustard tree, it sounded like some sort of hippie cafe that served vegetarian food. So anyway, I was sent here and uh, I came here reluctantly and um, pretty much from the day I landed, it, it, it changed my life. I could see straight away that this place could probably save my life, change my life, certainly. Um, in terms of the fact that I was in the worst place of my life, possibly, and I wasn't looking after, and I was severely depressed, and I was crying a lot, but I felt accepted here. You know, I felt like I wasn't being judged, and uh, that people cared, and that other people around here were in the same boat, and they understood. <clears throat> and I'd never been to a place like that in my life, you see. He was a young lad. He was, um, he, he come on his own from the outreach project, and he, he was involved with, like, gangs and that and they was trying to get him to come away from that sort of scene so he was going around local buildings volunteering and he come here and we made a film together me me and him we got funding off the council for the hate crime week he thanked me for what we'd done for him which i didn't think we'd done anything for him but he seemed to think that we, we helped him out and he seen what he could do within himself the knock-on effect of getting one person well it, it just it just transforms communities really eventually so it's really important that people come and and give their time and of course we give back to, to people who volunteer as well so if you're thinking about volunteering please don't think too long just come along 
and support us, help us to make a difference. You can be a tremendous, vital, most important part of a team. We'd just like you to come along and help us out. We really need your help in here and um, you get a really good sense of achievement at the end of it as well. Come along guys, you know, we're still here.